Previously on Tom Traveling Thomas and Carl. The seventh day, God had finished the work that he'd been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from Wait. all of his work. Hey kids, it's me again, Time Traveling Thomas. And it's me, your favorite puppet of all time, Kyle! Kyle the Hulk! Kyle the See you, buddy. Good to see you, Carl. It's oh, good man. to be back. So good to be back. It's so good to be back. So good. So, Carl, we are going to travel into a new part of our origin story today. We have visited the first seven days of creation. You mean we're done traveling into the book of Genesis? No, uh, we're just getting started. We're going to see what Moses begins to tell us what happened on the earth after creation. Yes, I can't wait. But in order to do this, we're gonna need to uh, need our seer scroll that I call the Logos. What? Yes, I love Legos. No, not Lego, silly. Logos. Oh. <laughs> well, what does Logos mean? It means the record of God's written word, the Bible. The Bible is a seer scroll. Yup. Let's load up our Logos to Genesis 2:47. Let's load up our Logos. Woo! That's Hold on. Oh, that's it, huh? This is the, this is the logos. It. Yeah. Oh, this is this is going next level, Thomas. It, it really is going next level. Oh, totally next level. Well, you better hold on tight. The logos can be a little bit of a bumpy ride. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Let's get this time machine ready. Downloading. Loading. Loading. The logos. Please confirm. Loading. Loading complete. Are you ready, Carl? I'm ready. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story of how it all started, of heaven and earth when they were created. At the time, God made earth and heaven before any grasses or shrubs had sprouted from the ground. God hadn't yet sent rain on the earth, nor was there anyone around to work the ground. So, are you saying that it never rained? That's right. Well, then how did all the vegetation and vegetables get water? Look at this. The whole earth was watered by underground springs. So the earth watered the earth? Yeah, the water came from within. From the belly of the earth flowed well streams. And, and Carl, God formed man out of dirt from the ground. Wait a second. Are you saying that God made man out of dirt? Yeah, very carefully, very slowly, and with a lot of love, he made man. But then look at this. And he blew into his nostrils the breath of life. The man came alive, a living soul. Wow, what is the breath of life? Yeah, God came face to face with man. And with great love, he breathed into his nose, just like a kiss. And instantly, every part of Adam's body was filled with life. As the spirit breath of God poured into the man of clay lying in the father's arms. Adam first sight was looking into the eyes of his father. The dust of the earth and the breath of deity mingled as one so that Adam could interact in both realms, physical and spiritual. This breath of life was more than air. It brought intelligence, wisdom, light, and the image of God into Adam. Thomas. Yeah, Carl? I think I'm gonna cry. I wish every boy and every girl knew how they were created 
I wish that every boy, every girl could look up into the eyes of their heavenly father. Mm. Yeah, this is, this is what Yahweh God wants for every boy and girl, that they would know how they were created, and that they would know how much they are loved. And this reminds me of a song. Yahweh God, kiss you with kiss of life. You were created from love. Here comes. Ah, <laughs> Carl. <laughs> love you, buddy. I love you too, Carl. All right, hey kids, let's let's declare this declaration together. All right, let's do it. Yeah. All right. I was made from love. I was made from love. For love. For love. And to love. And to love. Others with daddy's love. Others with daddy's love. Amen. Amen. Well, hey, I have an idea. Yeah, what's up, Carl? Let's go to Mr. Moses and get our blessing. I yeah. need a blessing. Come uh, on. Same. Let's do it. Come on. Let's go visit Mr. Moses right now and see what he has to share with us. All right, Mr. Moses, you go, bro. Take it away, Moses. I want to bless you, so hold out your hands in front of you and close your eyes. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom.